What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Star Wars Hunters. Today we are going to be continuing on with the Let's Play series. We finally got the Arena Pass. I did it for you guys and I wanted to check it out for the very first time. So we've got a bunch of rewards we're going to have to claim in a second here. We'll take a quick look at the new character uh, since this is the very first Arena Pass. Aaron Tal, I just unlocked him. We're gonna try playing as him as long as he doesn't get locked out when we load into a match. And then uh, we'll kind of go from there. So if you guys end up enjoying this, we'll see if we can hit the 30 like goal or if this is popping off, we'll see if we can hit the 100 like goal. For now, uh, thank you all and let's, uh, let's jump right into this. So let's watch the little cinematic here we got for unlocking him. That's so sick. I, I love these little little things that they have. The introductions. Mandalorian Vanguard. So he is a damage hunter. He's got dual blaster pistols and fury of clan tall. Alright, so that is the character. Let's see. Let me actually check all the unlocks we get for the arena pass. So we got that. Pretty sure we get a few skins here too at your service. Okay, that's actually a victory pose. And these are all the premium ones that you get unlocked. There are free ones, like this cool Mandalore icon, some emotes too. But now that we have the premium pass, got the Rosie set, a victory pose for this guy we haven't unlocked yet. Another victory pose. Bo Katan. Oh, that's cool. We got the Bo Katan. Uh, we got some credits. I'm not exactly sure what you use the credits for or what exactly it is. We have 7,000 of it right now. Got a arena pass reward claimed. Welcome to the arena. Okay, so that's uh, one of the icons. Cool. We got the the milk ghostly saber pattern. More credits. Another icon or emote. And then that thing, that's pretty cool too, Graz. Boba Fett. Jeez, how many of these can we unlock? A decent amount. Arena pass XP booster. Is you a bonus for arena pass gain from matches while they last? Find arena pass boosters in the arena pass. The arena pass boosters give you bonus arena pass XP from matches whilst they last. Speed through the arena pass with bonus. Okay, cool. So is that automatically active or do we have to enable it? I'm not sure about that. We can claim this. Don't worry, we're gonna get into a match in a second here. By the way, fame grant. Instant fame can be redeemed later from the hunter's roster. Okay. So you can use this on specific characters that you're playing to unlock certain things. That's cool. Oh. So you can automatically like level them up. Sure, I'll level them up to two. Because the higher the character is, the more damage they'll do or the, like, their upgrades will become better. Pretty much everything across the board. Cool. So we unlocked a lot there. And it looks like... So this automatically applies. Times two. Let's actually just check the skins that we got here. So we got stickers. I haven't really used any of the, the stickers yet, but still, that's cool. What else? Customize. Is there a way to go back? So we got victory poses. Take that. Let's see what costumes he has. That's the... Okay, so this is the one that's at the very end of the... Uh, 
the battle pass. But those are pretty cool too. We got one for the Sentinel, who has been my my current favorite character to play as. I can't wait to get the Crimson one. I rank 24. But we got this cool one. The Incinerator Trooper, I'll take that. Got a new one here. Go ahead and equip that. The pre-match brighter, broader for Graz. And all right, we also got a victory pose for him too, I think. Oh, we got stickers. It's interesting. There's certain stickers that are required for a character. Hold on one more time. Pretty sure we got a victory pose for him. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we're good. Let's get into our first match here. So let's see if I can play as this new character. So when you match make, and we kind of found this out last time, now that we're full on like in the game playing matches with other players, we're winning some, we're losing some, still uh, for the most part on a, a winning streak. But when you load in, only one person can play as each hunter. So... Uh, it's pretty much priority. Whoever you select as, and you get it. If you select it before somebody else selects it, you get to play as them. If you don't, then you don't get to play as them. I got lucky, and I selected Arental. So we're gonna try out the uh, the Mandalorian hunter here. Let's see how he plays. So far, though, I've, I've been enjoying this. This is definitely a casual style uh, 4v4 game mode. I still really wish that they like would have just brought it to PC or did a PC release. I really don't know why they don't do it a lot of times. Um, but there's always other ways, though. Well, that's kind of cool. Get out of there. Heal for a second. Compliments of Clan Tall. So I think that ability I, I need to look at them again. But one of these like makes you invincible for a few seconds. Not sure if it's that one there. Daigo is pretty good. I've I've been every match I get into with him has been uh been kinda getting wrecked by people playing as him. Tall is is cool so far, but getting gotta get a feel for him first. He only has like two two abilities too, besides like the uh, the final one, uh, the jump one. Let's see how this works. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh-oh. Oh, I knew I was going to die. Yeah, we don't really have any healers right now. Or if we do, I haven't seen them often. They are dominating right now. Man, it's tough. 
tough playing it. Uh, I don't know if it's just tough playing at Sim or if the other team is just destroying us still. Probably a combination of both. Jeez. Yeah, Daigo is great. About to win. Oops. This is a rough first match. Okay, well, we got demolished there. <laughs> it is what it is, though. You win some, you lose some. That's just the name of the game. All right. All right, we are back. So let's, uh, I think we don't really have much to unlock here. Maybe we got this. New icon. Hunters. I don't think we really level up anybody just yet. We have some things unlocked for other characters, but I'm going to wait until I actually unlock them. Let's see. So, complete arena pass challenges to multiply the points you earn. Let's just get into another match here. Continue on. That last one was a little bit rough. We'll see if it's any different here. Locked in. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I really want to try this guy out too. The droidekin is kind of cool. I, di I didn't realize that there was somebody inside of it for a while. <laughs> it took me a bit to, to realize that there was actually somebody controlling it. Dash in any direction. Okay. I just gotta get used to like the dashing. Nice. I was feeling better. Feeling better than last match, at least. Could try to go dominate. them back there for a second <laughs> they instantly got the kill though i guess i was just low on health i mean if they're not pushing do they have a full team or something they're really not like pushing or anything might be able to dominate them. They're taking our base. I have my ultimate available, but I'm just trying not to use it yet. Try to take A again. All right, let's go get it back. Yeah, I like this character. He's cool. Now that I'm getting it. Oh, I keep jumping into that thing.
Oh, it's right. <laughs> there we go. I had to use that at least once. Nice. All right, I might have completed some challenges there, so we'll have to take a look. That's such a cool, uh, like, cover for this game. I don't know why, but I just really like it. Wow. Centurion 1. They got a lot of uh, kills there. Claim that. We leveled them up to 3. Tal's Breath level 2. It does 5 more damage now. Claim this. Some extra player rewards. Rank 7. At rank 8, we get pretty much dynamic control. It's as close as it can get to uh, to hard point. Oh, if we look at an overview, you can actually see how many games I've won with each character. Huh. Sentinel 9. So when I play as Sentinel, I do pretty good, I guess. But that's also I I played as Sentinel the most. Here's our match history. Look at all those victories. It's like victory, victory, and then defeat. Victory, victory, defeat, defeat. Bad. Badge, man. All right, let's check our events here. We might have some stuff to claim. All right, we almost have this one. Use three ultimates as Aaron Tall. Eliminate 15 hunters as him. I should, as long as I get to play as him again next round, should be able to have that, which will be nice. Cool. I think we're good. Let's get into another match. Matchup Clash. What is this? Matchup Clash is active now. In this mode, Aaron Tal leads his opposing teams picked at random. Huh. Opposing teams can pick that random. Let's try it. Seems like it's a weekly matchmaking type. So does it randomly select who you play as? By default? Guess we'll find out. Matchmaking time is about 37 seconds. Squad Brawl. Matchup Clash. Yeah, this, this has been fun. Been uh, recording a few episodes back to back while playing this, and it's been as pretty much what I expected. Got a lot of, uh, hopefully, some more recordings I'll do this weekend or before the weekend, too, so that way I have some stuff going out in the next few days. So if you guys want more, let me know. Oh, okay. I have not played as this guy yet. So does it select one person to play as Aaron Tall? I guess so. wreck there for a bit Let's go so we got a force push we also have like a regular jump I guess where is it a force is it a pull might actually be a pull instead yeah it is That felt good at first until I got, you know, teamed up by the rest of them. <laughs> I thought I was going to get in there and destroy them for a second. Oh. Oh, 
belongs to you. Oh, so as you take people down, you you heal too. Ah oh, man, I was in the middle of my ultimate there. I ult. Use that too early. What is that? Did somebody like spawn that thing? Elimination. Right behind them. Kill up. I try to stick with my team. Man, he's taking all those. <laughs> Give it a second. It's heal. We're close. All right, Yoshi. Yeah, that wasn't going to go great there. Nice. Still came out on top, though. Not too bad. That's another one. That was a cool game mode. Oh, I got the uh, rewards for that too. And then, okay, so even though I don't have him technically unlocked yet, it still allowed me to do that. That's cool. Like that. We got a new victory pose for that. Give me a hand. Another arena unlock. Oh, the incinerator e-web. Oh, that's sick. But can you equip it directly from the arena pass? Yes, you can. Oh, that's beautiful. Not having to go all the way back to it. Man, there's a lot here now. So he, we leveled him up. I'm guessing because I don't... Yeah, I can't really see what I have unlocked here. Since I don't have the characters available yet, but I can equip these. I might try that game mode again. Costumes. Equip that. Go to weapon rewards. Equip that too. It's unique. I haven't seen people using these yet. All right, let's check Squirrel. I don't think we have anything for Squirrel yet. Nope. Sprocket. Nothing. Char. Nothing. Slingshot. I have this one. So it only changes his outfit. It doesn't change the... Uh... Huh. Yeah, it doesn't change the droid. Okay. Ranked. I keep seeing the icon for ranked, so it makes me want to click on it every time. And that's exactly what they're going for. Without a doubt, that's that's what they're trying to do. Got some new icons here to use too. Welcome to the arena. Alright, let's uh let's go into another match. Maybe we'll try this out again. Just kind of confused. I mean, first squad to eliminate targets wins when the time's up. Leading point. Level eight. All right, actually, let's go into this. The regular one first. Because then I can focus on my object objective and uh, hopefully progress like that. All right. 
A lot of people are trying to go as Sentinel. Yeah. Hey, I would be there too. I would be there too. I, you know, if I had, didn't have other characters unlocked, once you get out the only having four characters, it's not as bad because then you have your priority and then you have your backup. So right now, this is probably like my backup guy. Once I eventually switch back to this Sentinel, Aaron Tall will probably be my backup. And then, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll just kind of see where it goes. No! I killed from like across the map. Jeez. This thing is not good from that far away. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> the one problem with Arental is he's very squishy. So like, yeah, you can deal some like decent damage. I don't think he's like that good. Jeez. I'm dead. Man. Plus you got it you really gotta be up close. It's like not a good match to it. Trying to have him in. Dude, he keeps <laughs> Sergeant Milk keeps coming right after me. for the ult. Get him, get him. How? That's crazy. That ult is like super weak if he can just heal out of it. That's wild. You can tell that we're getting into some like pretty advanced matches now finally. Definitely feel it. I think, is this the actual guy? I think it was just one of his reinforcements. What the hell? Oh. Jeez. Almost dead. Probably until he gets his ability available. The one where he can he can rush. Five eliminations until defeat. We also don't, we're not too far off from. Uh -oh. Please. Oh, thank you. Oh, jump. Get me out of there. Nope. Wow. Oh, 
we we're about to lose. Only one more person needs to die. And there's 20 seconds left, so. Ten seconds. Wait, there's a chance. Ah, uh, we died last second. There was a chance that we we could have caught up again. That would have been so cool too, but nope, not today. That's all right. That all right. All right, pros. Okay, loading back in now. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. Every like two or three matches, we get stuck in an infinite loading screen and you just have to close out and open it again. After that, you're you're fine. But ranked mode, okay, nice. We unlocked uh, Daigo here. <laughs> Let's have some fun. <laughs> Commencing target practice. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's see if I completed the uh, the challenge too. Wow, we need 1.6k now to get him, and then it goes that, that, that. He's gonna take a bit to get there, but I mean, we'll get there eventually. We check events here. Eliminate 30 hunters as a eliminate 30 as a damage hunter. Few rewards. Oh, wow. What the heck? I had all this that I didn't claim yet. Uh, I'll skip for now. Okay, cool. I got some over here too. Maybe I'll actually use some of this. Instant fame added. I might as well. So every time you complete these, it just goes into the view event area. Claim 30 arena pass. Okay, I see. Arena pass rewards. Nice. There's a lot of these, too. You have to get them to fame level 5 to unlock their mastery stuff. So it's just as, as simple as playing as them. We've completed all the dailies. Claim this. And then, let's see, fame grants. Not frame grants, fame grants. Let's, uh, let's get Aaron up a little bit. So we'll get him to four. Oh, is there... Oh, we have a, an objective for some of these, too? It says out of 800. Oh, so it tells you who would rank up. Okay, if you use it. Sure, I'll, I'll I'll spread the wealth for other characters, even though some of them I'm not really playing as much of. But it still will overrank them. Do Daigo. Get him to rank two at least. That's cool that you get rewards that you can use for characters like you're not. So technically you could play like your strongest character and still rank up your other ones just by using this thing. Uh, which I kind of like that's that's not bad because then obviously like if you get into a match with somebody that's Graz ranked like 10 they're gonna have so many bonuses compared to your like sentinel who might also be ranked two or something like that or in my case like Daigo if I go into a match and everybody else the enemy team is all ranked 10 characters and then I'm playing as my Daigo I'm like oh I want to level them up well with something like this, you'd be able to spend the currency to, to level up multiple ones. Cool. Now we rank them all up a bit. Let's see, what else did I got? I got a new outfit for him. 
Volcanic Warrior. Some new stickers, too. What else? Some stuff over here. New outfit for her. Is this one right here? Bounty Hunter. That's eh, okay. I kind of like the other one more. Oh, we got a new one for her, too. Spec Ops Veteran. Sure. I'll take it. I actually like that. The white apple looks kind of cool. Alright, we might have some rewards to redeem, too. Maybe? Maybe not? Almost rank 8. Once we hit 8, we'll be able to get play the next game mode. Alright, let's just keep it going. More matches, more gameplay. A little bit of management with all the dailies and all that, having to jump in, but that's okay. All right, here we go. I've been enjoying this though, more than I was expecting. I was, I really wasn't like, I was keeping an eye on this for a little, but. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to check it out. And then I was like, you know what? If it's coming out very, very soon, I might as well try it. So here we are. It was a little bit of extra work trying to get the, uh, the game running because my original, uh, using LD player. Wait, I lost my character. What? I thought I selected them. Oh, rip. I would have played as Daigo if I could have. I thought I had them selected, but somebody else forgot them. Uh, okay. aiming ability i don't know if it does that much more hold on i need to also focused aim sensitivity that is way too low all right much better got out I need to remember that Q is my grappling hook I haven't played this character since uh, we originally started though that stun is tough <laughs> what? Jeez. I always accidentally get hit up on that thing. Hey. How does that guy have so much health? He has like more health and does more damage than uh, the person I'm playing as. But that's what it feels like at least. Uh, 
Yeah, I was getting shot from behind there. Why are you trying to hit? Oh, I thought that was enemy. I thought that was my teammate for a second. But it's because there was one. One was my teammate, one was the enemy guy. Right, we're close to winning. One more. One more kill. There it is. Just like that. Another one down. It's dippy. Okay. We've got some good stuff there. Complete one event. We've got some more upgrades available there. Let's take a look. How do you get to your... Oh, is it... It's event... I keep forgetting that events are the challenges. Or that's, like, where all your challenges are. Oh, so I completed all these now. Damn, okay. Not bad. Claim that. Use credits to buy shop item. So there are shop items that you can get. Let's see. So obviously those are like the paid for one. Sentinel starter pack. Oh, you can unlock. You can pay to unlock specific characters too. It looks like you un you unlock them there. Yeah. So you can get the bundles to unlock certain people. I see. Where's the ones that you use credits though? Huh. Storm cloud pack? That one's kind of cool. Like that loadout. Do you use credits to buy these? I don't see... Like, I see stuff in here, right? But you have to spend the crystals. I'm looking to see where you spend the, the credits. Oh, here's one item. Cerulean Warrior. Okay, weapon skin. It's not a lot of things that you can spend your credits on. <laughs> yeah, so you could spend what? What's the difference between these two? These are, these two are the same? $12.99? Oh, 890. This one includes 12,000 fame. So why you you automatically get to level up the character? Oh uh, yeah, you get fame grant. That way you can level up them or somebody else. Includes the hunter. Okay. So you could buy to to, to get these characters. All right, let's get into another match. The thing is, so I guess so technically I I personally would consider that buying a, the fame grant that levels up your characters yes you can level up them by yourselves but it, it is a little bit pay to win because if if you if you have all the money you could buy every single hunter right now you could like buy everything the cosmetics not so much but you could buy the, the fame grant hunter packs you could level that hunter all the way up using that entire thing. It might only get them to like level 10-ish, but that's still an advantage over another player. Especially with higher level characters, you do more damage and you also do more... Um, you do every everything across the board more. So more damage, more like of your abilities have better effects, all of that. Um, so... Got to be careful. I don't know. But either way, I mean, you still can do it. It it could be seen as pay to progression, where you pay it You're now and you progress faster. Um, but technically, that 
from looking at that though there's nothing that is there that you can't earn in game uh besides like cosmetics cosmetics you can all always seems like earn not you can you can earn some in game but then there's always going to be some that you have to buy in order to get it so i don't know guess we'll see see what happens Honestly, the any the only thing I would ever buy, really besides like the the pass and stuff, would potentially be like, uh, depending on how much grind I would want to do, I I would be one of the people that would pick up the hunters. Now, granted, you can unlock them by playing the game just long enough, but uh, it seems like it, it's a little bit of a grind getting most of them. But. Oh no! <laughs> that worked out perfectly for that guy. Holy! Got him! Oh, that was such a bad idea. I don't know why I used that right then and there. I think he killed me out of my ult. Yep. It was a bad decision. The fire ability? There's something weird with the fire ability. I don't know what it is, but it like... This guy's really chasing after me. It's like if, you, if you're moving, your fire ability goes... If you're moving to the left, your fire ability goes to the left. If you're moving to the right, it goes to the right. Even if you're facing forward like you're obviously always facing forward i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly but if i press uh like I, if i'm doing this and i press that oh you can hold it to see the trajectory too did not know that Oh, does it, does the trajectory get even higher if you hold it? Oh, it looks like it might. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Gotcha. Wow, this match is very, very close. No, we're about to lose. Oh, wait. Ah. So close. 25-23. Man. That was a... Yeah, that was a very close match. Not bad, though. Let's see... Deal 5k critical damage as Aaron Tal. Almost got, so the next level I get a weapon skin for him. This is okay. All right, let's uh, let's go for, wait. So I can't tell, is this like being used or is it just like automatically active? Complete arena, arena challenges to multiply the points you earn. I guess it is just active right now. Because there's nothing I can do to, to change it. We'll go directly into another match. It's like another squad brawl. Eliminate enemies to score points. It'll be nice if we have the next game mode. 
because then it'll rotate between all of them rather than just right now all i have is squad brawl and the domination like mode the next one is hard point so you got to move around the uh the map to get to the other objectives which will be nice all right here we go in 18 seconds here but yeah this, this is cool I'm, uh, I might have to load it on my phone too to, to play some more. See, somebody's playing a Sentinel already. The loadout's pretty cool. This makes me want to play uh, Star Wars The Old Republic again too, <laughs> for some reason. Especially after playing the. the J3 DI guy, the Jedi character. actually very beneficial. Heels are beautiful. Oh god. <laughs> they were. <laughs> gotcha. Some idea. Yeah. We're almost there. So close. eliminations until victory. I haven't been using my, my jump ability as much here. Come on. Yes. There it is. Wow, that was probably <laughs> that was probably one of my best match. I think. I don't know. Let's see. I feel like I was on a roll there for a second. Come on. Oh, no. You're kidding. It would break right here. Hold on. We got to... I knew it. Yep. I, I knew it. The second I was going to have to close out the game and then open it again. Well, let's see. 
So we're going to load back in here, take a look um, if we've got the... I want to see my score from the last match. Match history. Can I see the scoreboard? I'd match history. That's my cell. Okay, I don't, I don't think I can see the scoreboard, unfortunately. I can see that we won, obviously. But, man, that would have been good. <laughs> That's one of the things, is it doesn't show you your, your score. It doesn't show you your score until after you load back to this menu. But, either way, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. If you guys end up enjoying this, leave a like on the video. As always, really helps out. Join the Discord if you want announcements every time I go live or post a new video. Thank you all for hanging out. If this does well, I will continue to do more recordings. And honestly, I might be playing some more myself anyways. So for now, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.